ربي شر يسري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقلة من لسان يفقه قولي ربنا زنا أنما ورزق فهمه Welcome That was uh, Mashita Okay class so today we are in unit 5 uh, The skills that we are going to be focusing on today uh, is... Yes um, Nabiha say she can join this meeting I don't Nabiha. know why uh, oh, uh, Yes I, I know that uh, a few of you cannot join our class today Afi also said that he has something to do but it's okay. Uh, there will be a recording. Hey, Afi. Afi, you said that you cannot join today, but welcome anyways. Uh, there will be a recording of this class for uh, those who cannot join. So that's fine. Also, this is our last PDPR. Maybe. And uh, we'll have class at school next week. Maybe. Inshallah. Okay, so anyways, uh, our skills that we are going to be focusing on today is grammar about the passive tenses but before we get into that we are going to discuss a little bit about our topic of the day which is if you could choose between having your own laptop personal computer pc tablet smartphone or smart watch what would you choose you can only choose one and state your reasons why one or more reason uh, let's start with uh, aisha can you share Ah uh, yes. Mm. Um, I would choose a uh, smartphone because it is easy to carry everywhere I go. All right, that's a good reason. Smartphone, Aisha. Um, what about Nadia? Nadia, are you here? Nope, cannot reach Nadia. So, uh, we'll go to Hatin. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I will choose tablet. Why? Why tablet? Be Atin? Because it's easy to me to watch movie and easy to me to do homework. Easy, okay. Easy for me, okay. Not easy to, easy for me. Not easy to me. Uh, to do, to do lah. Okay, so good. Atin. Um, Afik. Are you here with us, Safi? Safi is not saying anything. So, uh, Christina? Yes. Which one would you uh, choose? I will, I will choose tablet. A tablet too, just like Fatin. Why? Yeah. Because it has a big screen and I can carry uh, on my handbag mm. and that's all yeah and that's all, uh, yeah, okay. that's all. <laughs> you can carry in your handbag not on your handbag um yana what do you have to say um i choose tablet okay it is because i can do drawing and some notes in the tablet with stylus pen. Mm, right. This pen. Stylus pen. Uh, Afi has left. Maybe he could have joined after all. Okay. Uh, anybody else would like to add to the discussion? Sofia? Machita? Danisha? Or Nadia? Anybody? Nobody. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Sofia, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, waiting. So. Yes. Uh, Fakiha cannot join because she's not feeling well. All right. Oh, by the way, have you all uh, got your vaccination? Yes. Oh, the first yes. dose and your second dose is supposed to be this weekend, right? Am I right? Yes. 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 Next week. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think it says line problem. But he has problems with this line. Okay. Um, Sophia, do you still want to say anything? Um. I. Hmm. What would you choose, Sophia? 
I would choose a tablet because I can control the use of it. Okay, that's all. all right, thank you. Uh, it looks like most of the students that spoke today, at least the ones who spoke, I don't know about the ones who are not in class or didn't say anything, most of them prefer to use the tablet. Okay, more so than uh, the smartphone. I would think most of you would prefer the smart smartphone, but I was wrong. Okay, so that was an interesting information for me. All right, today, let's take a look at our topic of the day, passive voice. Uh, you can refer to your textbook on page 113. Uh, there are a few terms that we have to understand before we go into our lesson today. So these are very grammatical terms, lah, term -term grammar. First of all, we have a subject. What do you understand by subject? Anybody? Let's take a look at the example here. Yeah? They use cameras in shops to help prevent crime. What is the subject uh, in this sentence? They. they, right. So they is a subject. They is a subject because they do the action. Doer of an action. And verb is an action, perbuatan. So they use camera. Use is the action. Who is doing the action? They. Therefore, they is the subject. Tenses. What do you understand about tenses? Tenses tells us the... Um, past or present. Yeah, that's the time. When an action happens. Right, so we have the present, uh, present tense, past tense, future tense. It tells us it only affects verbs. Can tenses? Just the verbs. Next, we have auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are verbs like be, have, or has. Okay, so these are auxiliary verbs. Be ini, like kita cakap be, ada banyak pecahan dia. Can you give uh, uh, me examples? Of pertahan dia, be, what can be turned into? Uh, is. Is, ah, uh, was, okay, ni semua ni, been, uh, ni adalah pecahan kepada be lah, adik-beradik dia. And finally, we need to know what a past participle is. So past participle, an example of a verb is, uh, I'll give you right. The past tense is, What's the past tense of right? No, past tense of wrote. 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 Yes, there's another form which is written. This is what we call a past participle. And sometimes past participle, let's take a niche onto a right wrote written is an irregular verb, kata kerja yang irregular. And we have regular verbs like this, play. The past tense is Played. The past participle is play. Play as well. Kalau regular verb, verb yang biasa, yang tambah ed ni, past participle dia pun tambah ed juga. Okay, so these are the five terms that you need to understand in order to understand today's topic, which is passive voice. Here we have two examples. One is an active voice. One is a passive voice, or we could also call it active sentence. Are you active? Sama je, voice or sentence. They use cameras in shops to help prevent crime. That's an active sentence. Whereas, manakala, if you look at the passive voice, cameras are used in shops to prevent crime. So what is the difference between these two sentences, an active voice and a passive voice? That you can see here. Mm, ada subject dengan tak ada subject. Ada subject dengan tak ada subject. Dua-dua ada subject sebenarnya. Tapi subject dia sama tak? Lain. Yes. This one, the subject is they for active. 
For passive, the subject is cameras. And the verb, are the verb the same in, two sentence, uh, in these two sentences? The verb is used, the, uh, sorry, use, tapi dia punya form, its form is different, bentuk dia. So here is just used, mereka menggunakan passive voice, are used, which means, dia bukan menggunakan, dia jadi digunakan. Di gunakan. Alright, but it is still, if you look at the tenses, dua-dua ni tense apa? Present, past, uh, future? Pre present. Present. Present tense. Okay, so R kat sini. Kamu tak tengok pada use ni, kamu tengok pada R. Yeah? Present tense. Cameras are used. So mereka menggunakan. Therefore, dia ayat aktif. Mereka buat sesuatu. Subjek tu buat benda. Um, cameras are used. Kamera digunakan. Kamera tu tak buat apa-apa pun. But orang buat benda pada kamera tu. Okay, understand? Yes. Okay. So passive verb, formula dia adalah kita gunakan auxiliary verb yang kita tengok tadi, be. And then we put a verb in the past participle. Okay, auxiliary verb kat sini, are, verb in the past participle, used. Maksud dia jadi D. Okay, now we are going to uh, do this one. Kita nak tengok macam mana kita nak tukarkan semua bentuk aktif dia kepada passive. And the verb that we are going to use as the example here is do. Because do maksud dia buat. Jadi senang sikit nak ingat. Present simple of do is do or also does. Present continuous is doing and present perfect Sorry, it's not just doing. Is doing ataupun be, uh, is, am, are doing, yeah? Present perfect has been doing. All right. Past simple of do is did. Think. Past continuous was or were doing okay I'll, i should add here also at is ataupun r ataupun m and the past perfect is had been doing okay i want you to try uh, when i ask you to try to think of what you need to put here yeah? kalau kamu tak cakap kalau saya pun tak apa at least you need to try and then Tengok betul tak yang kamu teka tu. Future. Simple. What do we need to put? Nak jadikan di future. We need to put. Will. Do. Future continuous. Will. Be. Doing. And the future perfect. You know. This one is a bit complicated. So I will remove it. Okay. Ada sebenarnya, tapi it's a bit complicated for our level. Tak perlu belajar lagi. Okay, now, ni semua ayat aktif. Membuat. Kalau kita nak jadi dibuat, kita kena tambah is done. Ni, is doing akan jadi is being done. And this one akan jadi has been done. Okay, when I put is here, it can also mean other things as well, yeah? Maksudnya ada ada, um, ada A, B, semua tadi lah. Okay, did. Passive. Dia akan jadi, kalau kamu tengok kat atas ni, was done. Yeah, sorry, is done. So, kalau past simple, dia akan jadi was done. Past continuous, passive. Can you guess? Was being done. Past perfect. Kalau kat sini has been done, maka kat bawah dia akan jadi had 
been in done in past tense. Hmm, had been done. And will do. Dia akan jadi will be done. Akan dilakukan. Will be doing. Will. Ada ke? Will be doing. Will, will, will be done. Will be done. Will be doing. Hmm, okay, leave this one blank for a while. I don't think there is a future continuous for passive. Will was being done. Anyways, kalau ada pun, jarang digunakan. <laughs> okay. And finally, questions. Kalau kita buat soalan, dia akan jadi bentuk dia lain sikit. Dia akan jadi auxiliary verb dulu, lepas tu subject, and then verb in past participle. For example, here we have the food is being cooked. The food. Subject is being cooked. Sedang dimasak. Kalau kita nak jadikan dia soalan, adakah makanan itu sedang dimasak? We'll start with the auxiliary verb first, which is, apa dia auxiliary verb kat sini? Is. Is. And then the subject. The food. Food. What do we end, how do we end it? Habiskan dia. Cook. Being. Being tu kita masukkan juga. Is the food being cooked? Adakah makanan itu sedang dimasak? So, dia tukar sikit je susunan dia kalau dia jadi soalan. Okay? Any okay, questions sir. so far? No. No? Okay. Alright, let's try to do the exercise in your book page 113 exercise E. How many people do we have in class right now? Lapan orang, okay. Okay, uh, answer this exercise in your notebook, please. You only need to write your answer as usual. This one, exercise E. You know what? Uh, because there are not so many people today, let's try to do this together. Okay, and as we discuss, you can write the answers. But this time, I, I don't want to give the answers. I want to hear the answers from you. Uh, and it is important, kita nak tahu dia punya tense dia. Macam mana kita nak tahu ayat ni pakai tense apa? Kita tengok daripada masa dia. So here for example, twice a day. Dua kali sehari. So kalau dua kali sehari, kita nak cakap tentang benda yang kita selalu buat. Benda yang selalu kita buat, kita akan gunakan what tense? Present or past? Or future? Present. Present, yes. Um, so, my computer, check. Tukarkan check tu kepada passive. And present tense. My computer. What do we need? The auxiliary verb. Pas tu verb tu tukar dalam past participle. Is ke ar kat sini? Has. No, no, present. We're using the present tense right now. I think I should open. Yalah, tak boleh nak buka dua benda sekali. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, jap. Saya tunjuk nota ni. That screen. And then untuk uh, untuk soalan tu, tolong tengok pada buku teks. Okay? A window. Okay, so notes here. Present simple. Passive. Contohnya kat sini is done. Okay, so now look at your textbook. My computer, check. Tukarkan dia kepada passive. Present simple. Okay, jadi? Is check it. Is check. Very good, Afiq. My computer is checked. Number two. The food delivered to the house by lunchtime. This is, what kind of sentence is this? Uh. Hmm. 
there is a question mark there. So it is a question. It's, it's a question. So question. The makanan tu dah hantar ke belum? What do you think? Belum. Belum. So this is asking about the future. Future tense. Tengok contoh macam mana kita nak buat soalan tadi. Auxiliary verb. Subject. First two verb. In the past participle. The food. Deliver. Subject dia food. Verb dia deliver. Future. Future kena gunakan. Will. So we start the sentence with. We start the question with. Will. Will. Lepas tu? Will the food? The food. Deliver. And then the verb in past participle. Deliver akan jadi? Deliver. 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 There is one word missing before deliver. Being delivered. Uh, sebab dia will kat situ. So dia akan jadi root word. Yeah? Will the food be delivered to the house by lunchtime? Will the food be delivered? Number three, yet, belum lagi. So we use the present tense, not need. The USB stick, not need. Present tense, passive. Is ke ah, USB stick. Subject is satu je. So we use? Is. Is. Okay, not tu kita tak ubah. Is not. Ni past participle need. adalah needed. Needed is not needed. needed yet. Okay, number four. What time? What tense should we use for number four? Uh, past, past tense. Past tense because past you tense. see last week there, right? Yes. So yes. a tablet. What auxiliary verb should we was. use? Was. Still. Past participle. Stolen. 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 Her password. Her password. Her tablet was stolen. Tablet dia telah dicuri. Uh, five. While the songs download, I was watching a film online. While. Semasa. Okay, so semasa we know it is continuous. But is it present continuous or past continuous? Present? Present continuous? I think it's past. You think it is past? It is past sebabnya kita nampak apa dekat bahagian kedua ayat tu? Was. I was watching. Was. Yes. I was watching while I was watching. So, now, past continuous, passive. Download. Subjek dia singular ke plural kat situ? The song. Plural. 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 So we use? Uh, were. Were. And were. then? Were being downloaded. Were being downloaded. Very good. Were being downloaded. Number six. The young children teach how to log in at the moment. What tense should we use here? Present. Keyword dia, keyword dia at the moment. Present. It is present. Present. No. But it is not present simple. What present is it? Sekarang, Continue. at the moment. Continuous. Continue. Present continuous. Kalau sekarang, continuous. we use present continuous. So, the young children. The young children is being teach. Is ke? Young children is plural. Children, ramai. Kanak-kanak eh. So we use are. And then are? Teaching. Are being teaching. Are being, yes. Uh, anybody knows what the past participle of teach? Uh, teach ni irregular so, verb eh? Teach. Past tense of teach is? Teach. Taught. Taught. Past tense dia taught. Past participle dia also 
tak juga ya T A eh kau tak jumpa T A U G H T So the answer here is the young children are being taught how to log in at the moment Number seven, it was noon and all the emails already sent. Telah pun dihantar. This is past perfect. Telah dihantar. Uh, sorry, uh, simple. This one is simple, not past perfect. Past simple. Already sent. Was already was already sent. Already tu kita, dia tak ubah apa-apa ya. S-E-N-T. Sent. However, do we use was here? Subjek dia apa? Emails. Emails. That is plural. So, bukan was tapi were. Oh. All the emails were already sent. Eight. The new CCTV camera installed next week. What tense should we use? Look at the clues. Future will be installed. All right, this is next week, so it is the future. That can go again. Will. Will be installed again, Jadi? Installed. Tambah ED, right? Installed. Okay. Will be installed. Right? Bukan installed. <laughs> you just say installed. Tak ada sangat bunyi E tu. Okay. So, I hope everybody is clear about the passive voices. It is very important. Yeah, benda ni macam, macam macam senang. Uh, but what happens with many students is they put was for any verb that they want to use in the past tense, kan? Contohnya ni nak kata, uh, mak telah masak, kan? Mak telah masak in English would be mom cooked. But you think, some students think, sebab was tu maksud dia telah, jadinya dia kena tambah was lagi kat situ. Mom was cooked. What's the problem in this sentence? Students? Ah, uh, maksudnya. Hmm. What does mom um, was cook mean? Ibu sudah masak. Ibu, ibu sudah te masak. telah masak. Mom was cook. Ibu telah masak. No, no. Look at that. Passive, passive. Kalau sini semua maksud dia D. Telah D. So you say mom was cook means <laughs> ibu dimasak. Oh, ibu telah dimasak. You just killed your mother. <laughs> Kamu masak mak aku ke? Right. So that's why dari segi tata bahasa, betul lah mom was cook. Tapi dari segi maksud dia, salah. Okay, so don't just put was, were every time you want to say telah. Yeah? Whenever you put the ed here, maksud dia telah dah. Nah, mom cook, mak telah memasak. Okay, mom was cooked. Uh, don't let that happen eh, to your mother or your family member or yourself. Don't get cooked. Okay, so I hope that is very clear now. Any questions? Uh, no. No? No. no. Perfectly clear, I hope. Eh? Jangan ada masalah yang sama lagi lepas ni. Uh, okay, on to the second thing is... Biasanya bila kita guna ayat passive, we can also use these two words. By and with. And by and with ni, salah satu maksud dia kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, dua-dua maksud dia dengan. By bicycle, dengan basikal. With my friend, pun dengan kawan saya. So, dengan. However, when you use it in a passive sentence, uh, the meaning can be a bit different. So, sample example here is the building is being monitored. Maksudnya apa? The building is being monitored. Bangunan? Sedang? Bangunan itu sedang. Diawasi ataupun dipantau, ya? Yeah? 
if you say the building is being monitored by, we are asking the question of who. Siapa? So who is monitoring the building? Siapa yang kita boleh, uh, apa yang kita boleh gunakan untuk lengkap kaya ni? The building is monitored by? Can you give any examples? Um, boss. By the boss. Okay. Good. Uh, Hanan just joined us. Welcome Hanan. So boss sudah bantau. Or it could be maybe somebody else by the the police okay, by the teachers. A anybody. But if you put with, the question is not who, the question is what. Menggunakan apa. So the building is being monitored with. Pantau menggunakan apa? CCTV. Yep. Uh, remember the name that we learned last time? Sir, sir, surveillance camera and camera. So you cannot be the building cannot be monitored by a surveillance camera. Sebab kita gunakan benda tu. Tapi orang yang membuat tu kita gunakan by. Yeah? So that is the difference between by and with. Uh, you can also look at your textbook, page 113. Uh, I think the sentence is something like, um, tak ingat apa penuhi dia, but filled with smoke. Dipenuhi dengan asap. The laboratory, is that? Can you see the example there? By with kat D. Uh, yeah. uh, the laboratory kan, makmal tu, was filled with smoke. Dipenuhi dengan asap. Something. What? The second one is the new worker will be shown around by the manager. Siapa? Siapa yang buat? The manager. Alright. But sometimes also you can use by. Kalau ni, ni cara kita gunakan by dengan um, with bila kita guna ayat passive. Tapi kalau kamu gunakan ayat contohnya he goes to school. by car yang ni maksud dia dengan walaupun kita gunakan dengan tapi dia bukan about who anymore because this is not a passive sentence anymore eh. ni ayat aktif saja. Uh, so dia tak sama sikit lah penggunaan passive dengan aktif tu ok so now let's take a look at the exercise in your textbook exercise F okay, saya rasa boleh tutup dah kot ni so that we can look at the textbook. For any of those who joined us midway, tengah jalan, we are looking at page, page apa? 113. Yeah, 113, thank you. Okay, so, this one complete the second sentence with the passive voice. Dia dah bagi satu contoh in passive, uh, active voice and then turn it into passive. So the first one here, manufacturers, pengilang, are developing a new type of mobile phone. So of course that is the active, are developing, sedang develop, sedang membuat. Negative, negative, like passive. A new type of mobile phone. Change that. Are developing into passive. This is the present continuous. Kalau present continuous tadi, passive kena tambah apa? Ah, ni masih ada juga. Or do you need to look uh, at the notes again? <laughs> you know, uh, wait. Uh, I am going to take a screenshot of the notes and send it to Telegram. Uh, so you can refer it to it there. Okay.
Okay, so now let's try again. Are developing present continuous active? Kalau passive dia akan jadi are being being develop akan jadi past participle develop very good. Are being developed by or with manufacturers? Is it using what ataupun siapa Bye. yang buat? By. By, yes, are being Wait. developed by manufacturers, pengilang. Number two, technology has changed our lives dramatically. Has changed our tech, our lives. Has changed here. Tukar kepada. Has been changed. Has been changed. Very good, Afiq. Has been changed. By or with technology? With. With technology. Has been, we can also put here, has been dramatically changed with technology. Here, actually, you can also use by. Uh, the meaning would be slightly different, uh, but you can use both. It's been changed with, has been changed by technology. If you say by, oleh, if you use with, maksudnya dengan menggunakan teknologi. Eh? Three, the scientists sent the lab some blood samples. Sent, that is what tense? Sent. Mm, pass. Pass, okay, now change it into passive. Pass simple saja. Pass simple. It's the same example as mom put and mom was put. Were. Were. Uh, were sent. Yes. Pass, pass participle untuk send adalah send juga ya. Were sent by or with the scientists. By. By. By, by the scientists. By. You cannot say with the scientist. Maksudnya tu kamu menggunakan scientist untuk hantar. Uh, four. NASA. NASA. Okay, NASA. NASA will have designed a new robot for space exploration by 2035. Will have designed. Oh, this one. Saya tak letak tadi. I thought tak ada. Tapi ada rupanya. Will have designed. Here, this is the future perfect. Future perfect, did I put it? Uh, will. Future perfect. Future, future. Yeah, I did not put future perfect. Tadi. So sorry. They can jadi will. Sama juga. Have been designed. Uh, will have been designed by or with NASA? Bye. 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 Yep. Bye. Ole. Number five. We will give Maria instruction on what to do. Maria will give what tense? Future. Future. So passive. Will be given. Will be given. Ayat dia tak habis lagi. Takkan kata Maria will be given on what to do. Uh, instructions. Instructions, yes. Very good, Aisha. And the last one. Will science ever answer people's questions about the universe? This is a question. Will people's question about the universe answer? Clue here is will. Kita ada will kat sini. So, kalau auxiliary verb kita gunakan lepas will, dia akan jadi oh, C pula dah. Oh. Will is a model. So, semua model lepas tu akan jadi root word. Mod uh, 
Verb biasa ya. Hmm, it's a root word. Auxiliary verb. Remember auxiliary verb apa dia? The note I gave you just now. Is a... Hmm. Right. Root word dia apa untuk semua tu? B. 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 So, will people's questions about the universe be... Answer? Uh, uh, answer. Tambah ED, yes. Answer. With or by signs? With? Uh, this one you can use both. With, dengan menggunakan signs. By, okay. only signs. Okay. Uh, there's another word that you can add here, tak perlu tambah tak apa, tapi kalau kita nak sama betul-betul dengan masuk ayat di kat atas tu, is the word ever. Will people's questions about the universe ever be answered with signs or by signs? Okay, and there you have it about today's lesson uh, using passive sentences or passive voice in English. It is very important, as I told you, It can be the difference between life and death. Kalau kita salah gunakan dia, hidup mati ya, isu dia. Mother quote, maksudlah kita semua boleh terus hidup sebab kita dapat makan. Mother was cooked, everybody dies because we don't have any food to eat. Okay. Uh, and I think we have reached the end of our lesson today. Uh, unless you have any other questions to ask, students, anything? Um, no. No? Sure? Yeah. Right. Uh, as you can see, today I am wearing bate because I am supposed to be at school today. Uh, but because the internet was so slow, I tried to do uh, online class, Google Meet at school. It was too slow, so I had to return home to use the internet in order to teach you. I'm going back to school after this. Uh, okay, so thank you very much everybody for attending today's class. So we are going to end with Tasbih Kefarah and Surat Al-As. Banallah hamdik. Ashadu ala ilaha ala anta. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilaih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.